Hello and welcome to Bristol Reptile and Porridge YouTube channel. I'm Gail and I'm Michelle and today we're going to talk about crickets and how to house them. So Michelle what do we have here? So we've got a tub of pre-packed crickets here Gail and I thought it'd be quite fun to see if you could get just one out of the tub for Just me. one? Just one, no more. All right okay let's see how this goes. Oh they're quite lively. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Jumping everywhere. So as we can see by Gail, it can be quite difficult just to get one out of the tub of crickets. Um, she's struggling a little bit lesser, so fingers crossed she'll be able to do it in a minute for us. Um, so Okay, I got one. There we go, that's lovely. So we've got one out of the tub now. It appears that it's just nibbled <laughs> on her finger. <laughs> she's lovely. How about we pop that one back in? So the reason why I'm saying we pop it back in, it's highly likely on, a, on an average temperature day that you'll open up your tub of crickets and you'll find that as you go to catch one, you will end up with the rest of the contents on the floor. And we've all been there as reptile owners where we end up with half the tub on the floor of whatever room our reptile's in and no food in the enclosure with the animal, which is obviously the last thing that we want. So is there something that we can do about this? Yes, yeah, so there's different options available as to how we store our, our live food. And in doing that, it can make getting lower numbers of live food out of the containers a little bit easier. So here we have one of the enclosures which we would keep the crickets in. Michelle, how does this work? So this is a plastic enclosure with a vented lid. Uh, we've got some pre-drilled holes on the side of the enclosure which have got covers so when you're not using the tubes that are provided, they're covered and the crickets can't escape. We've got four black tubes that come with the kit. This one, I've only popped one in just to demonstrate how it sits in there. And then what that enables us to do is we slide the tubes in, the crickets will go up the tubes and then we can slide them out and we can basically remove the number of crickets that we want via the tubes without having to take the lid off the container. Oh, I see. Um, what are the benefits of having the crickets in this container? It provides the crickets with more space, so it means they're less likely to sweat due to their bodies being in a confined space. Um, it also means that we've got more space to get food in the enclosure with them. And so having food in the enclosure with them means that we can pass more nutrients onto our reptiles. Oh, okay. And what do you feed the crickets? So this kit comes with some basic elements. Uh, so this has got a bag of cereal mix, which uh, the crickets will feed off of once in the enclosure. But we'd also put other types of fresh food in as well. So things that you may be feeding to your animals themselves, if it's something like a bearded dragon. Um, but we can also use root vegetables and some fruit as well to help pass extra nutrients onto our animals. Okay, and what, why do you feed the crickets? And it is literally for that point. If you think about it, you are what you eat. So if you make sure that your live food is full of good nutrients, you're passing that on to your animal itself. If your live food is kept in poor condition and is of low nutritional value, you're passing that on to your animal. And that's the last thing that we want, really. So it's all for the care of the reptile to make sure they get the nutrition that they need? Yeah. Okay, so do we provide water for the crickets? So um, with invertebrates, if we provide large bodies of water, they can fall in and drown and we'll have lots of dead bodies, which again, it's not a scenario that we really want to find ourselves in. Mm -hmm. But there are new products available on the market. I say new, I mean within like the last three to four years. That's how new I'm speaking. Um, so we've got things like hydro jellies, we've got hydro balls, there's jelly pots, there's, they've got a range of different names, they come in a range of different shapes, sizes, um, and this basically works as hydration but prevents the invertebrates from falling in and drowning. Oh I see, and is that what this little dish is for to put them in? Yeah, so there's other elements that come with the kit, so we've got the small dish, we've got a pair of tweezers, if you fancy having a go at catching any of your live food with a pair of tweezers, um, and that just makes it a bit more beneficial for you um, to have a range of products when you purchase the kit. Oh, I see. So ultimately, if we look after the crickets, that helps with looking after the reptile. Definitely. Thank you for watching Bristol Reptile Emporium's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you next week for another video. Bye. Bye.